Previously on The Real Housewives of Theatre West. And where are you going dressed like that? Your husband's office to sign my contract. Slut! Has been. Mary, I'm glad to see you're on time for rehearsal today. Your scene needs a lot of work. Oh, and your husband said he's going to be late tonight, so you don't have to hold dinner or whatever it is you hold for him. Did he say why? I didn't ask him. I was busy signing my contract. <laughs> Places, people. That was amazing work, Jennifer. Class, I want you to recognize what Jennifer accomplished tonight. She took the notes I gave her in the last class and worked on every one of them. And it paid off. Your work was so real, so true. It was an inspiration to all of us. Thank you, Bridget. No, you did the work. We should be thanking you. Barbara, since you're already on stage, why don't we see your monologue next? Ha! Uh, she can't. She has laryngitis. Y you should really have that checked, Barbara. This has been going on for over a month. Have you tried acupuncture? I can give you a number. Rolfing. It's agonizingly painful, but it works for me. Gargling with bourbon. It helps. The real reason that Barbara didn't do her monologue tonight is because she didn't have it memorized. She's too busy chatting with her old boyfriends on Facebook. Oh, I can't believe that she told you that. You need help, Barbara. You're a social networking whore, and you know it. Oh, don't listen to her. She's impossible to live with ever since she got back from Betty Ford. Barbara's in denial. Barbara's in denial. <laughs> Barbara's in denial. So this Barbara's was the opening scene denial. from Arden's newest play. Corrine, as the director, what were you working on here? I wanted to set up the animosity these two women feel the moment they meet each other, so that later on in Act Two, when Heather's character has an epiphany and realizes she was wrong not to leave a tip, even though Emily's character is a lousy waitress, the two of them can re-meet at Clyde's funeral and discover a subtextual bond over their mutual contempt for hard labor. This aversion to work is a larger theme that runs through the play and manifests itself in the fact that Emily's character is the only one to hold down a job through Act One. But I think the most important thing that I was working on was the sense memory visualization that I have infused into the silences, those pauses where the audience probably thinks the actors have forgotten their lines, but in truth, the performers are existing in a place where true character is exposed, naked for all to see. And of course, I wanted to establish the sexual tension in this scene. To be honest, I saw everything you were going for except sexual tension. I didn't write any sexual tension into the scene. Well, put it in, Arden. We need a hit. OK. Actually, that may have been my fault. I, I forgot that Corrine gave me that note about sexual tension. I'm sorry. You need to bring sexual tension to your work, Emily. It doesn't just come. And you need to trust me. I am here to help you create a solid foundation of your darkest, most forbidden feelings. And once that foundation is in place, you and I We'll peel away the subtext. Expose the real you on stage. Class, this is exactly why a director is invaluable to the process. In the hands of a great director like Corrine, an actor can feel free to explore the basic elements of character motivation. <laughs> and what are they? Wants. Yes. Needs. Yes. Dancing. 
No. Desires. Yes. Now, Emily, what did you need in the scene? I, um... I need to get Heather's lunch order. Excellent. Class, every line the playwright puts down in the script is there for a reason. Ask yourselves, why does Arden have Heather ask for a bologna sandwich? Why not tuna? I don't like tuna. Dig deep. Find the subtext, people. What does bologna mean to the playwright? Lunch. It's the subtext that drives the play. Heather, what were you working on? Breathiness. Breathiness. Well, I do so much heavy breathing later on in the, in the play. I thought a breathy quality would be nice in the first scene. How did you come up with that? It came to me in the shower. And my other idea is to do the scene topless. Now that might help. Well, class, I saw some great work tonight. Thank you. Oh, Bridget, I know I didn't sign up for work tonight, but do you think I could just do a short monologue? I have a big audition tomorrow. Hi. Audition Hi. for I'm what? The part I'm of a sorry. dead woman? I, I'm so sorry. I have to go up to your husband's office to sign my contracts. I'm sorry. Break a leg! Auditioning is a very important part of an actor's professional life. When you can get an audition, because, you know, they seem to come fewer and far in between the older one gets. At least that's what I hear. Anyway, there's a lot of preparation that goes into a successful audition. Like, do I look in the camera? Do I not look in the camera? Do I cry at the end of a scene? Do I eat lunch before I go and risk having gas during my monologue? There's a lot to consider. And tomorrow's audition is very important because it's for the new head of casting. <laughs> Talk about stress. They didn't even send me a script, though, so I have no idea what I'll be reading till I get there. The only thing they told my agent was, they're looking for someone who's desperate, insecure, and used up. Which would be a nice stretch for me, because I hate being typecast. Congratulations on being made head of casting. Wow, that's impressive. You give me a report. Did I tell you I did an after-school special? I don't watch after-school specials. I work. I get promoted, so I pay right. very close attention. Perfect. Just in time. Let's get this started. Oh, no. Are those chocolate chips? Yes. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, it's you! Oh, I'm so glad she called you in. I asked her to. I have been the biggest fan since grade school. Mom, I'm working here. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. Oh, good luck. I hope you get the part. I would love to see you make a comeback. I never left. Mother, get me Ashley at showtime, and don't forget my Twinkies. Now, where were we? 